Two of the pre-trial proceedings in the matter involving Eteguini's former mayor Zandile Kumete and 21 others, the trial is expected to start in March next year. Yesterday, Kumete pleaded not guilty to a barrage of charges, including the contravention of the Municipal Finance Management Act. Ian says Pamadla Goke is on that story for us and joins us now. Good morning, Pamadla. So yesterday, the indictment was read into the record, and also we had the accused pleading, all 21 of them, and they pleaded not guilty. So can we safely say that there's movement in this case now. We're seeing movement. Absolutely. Yesterday was significant in a sense that the reading of that indictment signals the fact that we are already underway with this. But technically, we will start with the trial next year around March. Remember, after the reading of the indictment, the accused persons have to plead each and every charge that is mentioned there. They must plead. You are talking about charges ranging from racketeering, money laundering, fraud and corruption. 2,973 counts. Those are not the charges. The charges are racketeering, money laundering, fraud and corruption. Of course, there are counts and there are alternative counts. So yesterday we only dealt with just one charge that is racketeering. It's got so many counts that we couldn't finish yesterday. When we pick up today, the state prosecutor will continue with those counts and alternative counts and then move to the next charge. So the expectation is that at least we will be here at the Deppen High Court for the next few days, probably the rest of the week. The matter has been allocated and set down from yesterday till the 26th of August because you can imagine the volumes and the nature of the charges, but most importantly, you are talking about more than 2,000 counts. So mm. state prosecutor yesterday preferring to read each and every paragraph despite the judge advising that, you know what, it will take too much time. Just read the preamble. The accused persons know what is happening. They have consulted with their lawyers. They understand each and everything that is happening. I've verified that with their legal representatives to save time without jeopardizing the process. Just read the preamble. State prosecutor saying, well, I would prefer to do it this way. Hence, we have only moved with one charge, which is racketeering. But the fact that the accused persons have pleaded not guilty, all of them, signals the fact that this trial technically is underway, even though in terms of uh, proceedings now, calling witnesses, that can only start next year. Mm -hmm. After the reading of the indictment and then this plea bargain, then... When that process is done, we will enter into the logistics aspect of it now to say, okay, when can the trial start? What are the possible trial dates that have been discussed before, you know, around March, April next year? But let's take a listen to the prosecutor reading that indictment about the charges that the accused persons are facing. It's further alleged that accused one, two, three, four, five, and nine actively associ associated themselves with the common purpose and worked together to manipulate the procurement processes or to ensure the achievement of their common goal that orders or contracts be awarded to, spe to specific suppliers being the business <coughs> entities, namely accused 12, 14, 17, and 20, represented by accused 10, 11, 13, 15, and, and 16, 18, 19, and 21. Mm -hmm. Spamanza, there's clearly still a long way to go, but what was the sentiment of view of Mam Gumete when she left court yesterday? Just the fact that they've moved so much because earlier on when she came to court, she wasn't quite aware if there would be any progress, but there was. She sounded happy when I asked her about, you know, the court proceedings yesterday and she said at least there is some movement now that they have been asked to plead. If I were to quote her, she said, well, Ziakala Manja, we are happy that there is some movement. <laughs> the truth will finally come out because at the center of it really, the state alleges that politicians, okay, let me put it like this. 
when it comes to this matter, there are three categories of accused persons. Politicians, they include the former mayor of Etchegwini, Zandile Kumede, and some councillors. And then there are officials of the city, Etchegwini Metro. They include former municipal or city manager, Sipon Zuza, some people who work within the supply chain department or unit of the municipality, and the Dep and Solid Waste Unit. The Dep and Solid Waste Unit is at the center of this because 320 million rand of tenders were from the very same unit. The state alleges that politicians formed an enterprise with officials. They put pressure on officials and then they selected strategic businesses and business people who would receive tenders and pay kickbacks allegedly to politicians and officials. That is the nature of the allegation that is being advanced by the state in this matter. Mamzandile Kumete saying finally the truth will come out. Her supporters are of the same view and one of those people is Umnistentando uh, Kuzwayo. Thank you very much for your time, Baba. You've been calling for Mamzandile Kumete to have her day in court. The matter is finally proceeding. She has pleaded not guilty. Are you happy with the processes, even though they appear to be slow. The trial will only get underway in ENS next year. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Koke. Uh, good morning to you and your viewers. Indeed, we are very happy that uh, finally there's movement in this case. Remember, it's taken uh, over four years for, for us to arrive at this stage. So this is a stage that we've been waiting for. Um, part of what happened yesterday was actually uh, the state putting it to the accused in terms of what exactly it is that they are charged with. Um, and this now gives us an indication of what exactly uh, is to be expected here. Now, what makes us happy is that we finally get an opportunity to hear from the people who, were, who have been accused, because this, this matter has been in the media for a very long time, and a particular narrative and picture has been painted. Uh, even what the prosecutor was doing here yesterday, you could see that she was trying to paint a particular narrative. The judge is saying, look, this is a 400-page document. Instead of going paragraph by paragraph, just go to a preamble and then let's move. Because that, that alone will take a month to finish if we are going to be doing that. But because the narrative had to be painted, then she had to do that. But we are just happy that there is movement now. We, the, the, the people who are accused in the matter will get an opportunity to clear their names. One of the things I know is the fact that uh, supporters of Umam Zandile were unhappy that she couldn't contest at the provincial conference of the ANC. She was nominated by the branches. She was the only one nominated by the branches for the provincial or for the position of provincial treasurer. This case appears to be breaking forever. Are you happy that soon it will be concluded or the likelihood is that it will continue to drag, preventing her from participating in political activities as she's on step aside? It's going to drag forever. Uh, you are Zulu like me, so you know what Ikala Lenduna is. Ikala Lenduna Lele Umu, So this is, there's not going to be any movement that is going to be very quick uh, to, to, to finish this matter. Even after the matter has, be, has, has finished, there's already an indication that the state will probably want to, to, to appeal whatever verdict is, is, is going to be. This is, this, you can judge this by the fact that they wanted to have assessors in the matter. So they are, they are practically saying they don't trust the judge that's involved in the matter because they want her to be assisted, you know. But so it, does happen, it does happen in cases where the judge will have assessors, but this one has turned down that possibility. They intended to apply for that. She said she was capable of dealing with it. Yes. But it's an indication that even after the matter is finished, then there will be... Uh, a further appeal than what have you. Let's talk about supporters outside. Yesterday, some of the leaders discouraged supporters from coming for coming today, saying the matter will be going on for the rest of the week. There were supporters yesterday, but today, till Thursday, we don't expect them. They can only come back on Friday. Talk to us about the logistics. Not necessarily that we do not expect them. Uh, we, we, we've asked people to come on their own if they can. So there is no logis logistical arrangement that has been made to, to bring people to court. So whoever's going to be here, it's should be out of their own volition. Let me ask you about the July unrest uh, alleged instigators. You were one of the people who mobilized business people and taxi buses and drivers to go and defend businesses and clean up and mop up operations. Arrests are being made across Wazru Natal and the Tewini. Some people who are being arrested are members of the ANC and the ANC Youth League. What do you make of those arrests? Yeah. Well, um, we will see once the matter, the matter has come to, to a point of trial. Look, for now it's allegations. Uh, like, like
like the, the case that we are here, it's still allegations. Up until, uh, because remember, in, in, in any criminal matter, the state is the dominus litis. So it meaning it is, the, it is the state that brings the case before a court and says, we have arrested this person for this and this, and, and this charge. Then the state has now a further a, 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 a responsibility to now prove that beyond reasonable doubt. Not just to prove that, but to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. So for you to say people uh, were instigators of one, or one nature or, or the other, hey, I think you'll have a very serious mountain to climb. Thank you very much for your time, Baba. That is Dando Kuzwayo, who speaks on behalf of former Itegwini Mayor Zandile Pumede's supporters. I've spotted one gentleman going down that way. Unfortunately, Bongam Kize will not be able to see him now because he's just disappeared. But his name is Tobani Zuma. Tobani Zuma is the former deputy mayor of Umsunduzi municipality, the capital of Gwazro Natal. Those are some of the high-profile politicians that are coming to court to support Umamu. We expect proceedings to get underway around 10 o'clock and the state will continue with the reading of the indictment. The accused persons will also continue to plead on the matter. All right, Pamanda, we'll leave it there for now and catch up with you a bit later on. That's senior reporter Pamanda Goge monitoring that case for us. To the story now.